I'm working with TV Day for the Tokyo Olympic Games 2020, and it's such a blessing and an honor to be back here. You know, when I was called and when we had the discussions, you know, I remember what I went through some years ago when I decided to leave TVJ to make things better for my family. There have been, been moments where I wondered if I would ever get an opportunity to be back. Uh, stuff from the cuffs, stuff from the cuffs. If you had it back day and you're looking for a smile. Bringing hope and joy for a day that was wild Stuff from the cuffs is here to make things bright In a world so dark, they bring us some light Stuff from the cuffs 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 Clean sweep, we're saying a clean sweep. You see the item? Yeah, clean sweep caused that. <laughs> 1500 is kind of like her backup event. I really don't think she's going to trouble the medal tables at all. So I'm working with Stevie Day for the Tokyo Olympic Games 2020, and I am their lead producer. And it's such a blessing and an honor to be back here, you know, when I was called and when we had the discussions. You know, I remember what I went through some years ago when I decided to leave TVJ to make things better for my family, you know, and it was walking out of a dream job. And there have been, been moments where I wondered if I would ever get an opportunity to be back here. And the truth is, when I got the call, I was a bit overwhelmed. I was a bit taken aback. I was a bit, I was a bit moved. And when I prayed about it, when we discussed it, me and wifey, and, you know, in dialogues with TVJ, I'm back here. And for the duration of the Olympics, July, August, or two months, basically, for two months, we've worked together on the planning and the pre-production aspect of the production. Then we got together for the production and also some post-production and the different days as it relates to Tokyo Dreams. And it has been me working on Tokyo Dreams at my dream job, another dream come true. And it's just come full circle. And it's been so amazing and how, you know, when you look at how God works things together and he works it out in such a way that you never dreamed would have happened. You know, I use the word dream again. But I'm grateful and, and it's an attitude of gratitude for me. and. You know, I've been sharing some of the, the clips as it relates to the days going in and coming out and how it has been. And it's been surreal. So many testimonies since I've been here. So many, many memories. So many relationships, you know, that have been further benefited and further enhanced. I'm just grateful, you know, and I'm just happy about how God has been using me and has been using this situation to bless me so 
I'm out for today. We are more than halfway through our coverage and Jamaica continues to do well. And that's that. You know, big ups. Today is actually Emancipation Day in Jamaica. Emancipation Day. Um, happy Emancipation Day, Jamaica. But before the seatbelt co police come for me, I just put on my seatbelt. All right. It's another day. And we have a show at 6 p.m. And it is now 3.28. And we are heading in to get things started. So the life of a producer. So one of the things we do is we have a crew call at an hour before for most of the technical persons to set up cameras, get placing, set up audio. But for us, the producers, we go in a little earlier. We work on the runs, we work on the scripts, we work on getting the footage that you will see. Uh, look at me talking with all of my head chopped off. We work on the footage, the runs, and we ensure that we remind everyone to be there at X time. Producers are responsible for the pre-production, the production, and the post-production. A lot of people only are responsible for the production, some for the post-production, but the producers are responsible for every single area of a production. And the curfew today is... 3 o'clock. What time is it now? Two o'clock. Curfew early, I would up on the road, outside. So, go look and see if the Pope put them out there. Of course, we are legal. We are legal. But, you know, would I make nice for the black dog? May I say, work a on. Work a on. So, ready? I would just go through some rain. Rain I come in like the Olympics. One moment you say, yeah. Next moment you say, Jesus. Our athletes have been having a torrid time for the most part, but you know, that's that's live sports. That is also the Pope of them over there, so I stop some people. What are they doing on the road? But that's sports, and we just have to take it as it comes. Support all the athletes, big them up, and support them in every way, shape, or form. But sports can be so unforgiving. You train for your four years or five years, and you go out and you run one round and one hurdle, pick up yourself, Jail. Them know, them know. They need to know that. I had to, I just had to. <laughs> no, you won't leave me alone. It's longer than 15 minutes, though. This is the Yellow Big Road. Not right name. Right name. It's not World Cup this time. <laughs> it's Olympics. Olympics. You look nice though. Thank you. I'm a walk out so. You've been afraid too? Hmm? Absolutely. Olympic dive. I just know it would pop. Let's not do it. The flash of ear on gone, my friend. Yeah. Stiff Bye, Leanne. Bye, Brian. <laughs> So guys, this is Jody. Jody takes care of us. Sometimes. <laughs> well, Brian, really? Sometimes. Sometimes? Sometimes. And that's the, the tea container right there. I'm gonna go on strike. Yeah. 
Aqui a Amelie, que este cuyo pino. No, so. See guys, when you have uptown people being a part of the crew, they come with beds and spreads. Yeah. This is my this is her bed and this would be my bed. Dina again. And just like that, we are done. 17 days of actual action, about 20 days of pre-production, sleepless nights, tireless days, a lot of collaboration, a lot of supporting each other. And just like that, our coverage of the Tokyo Olympics 2020 is over. Three years ago when I said bye-bye to TVJ, you know, to be with my family, I am back here for three weeks, there about. And it has been amazing. So many lessons that have been taught, so many lessons that I've been reminded of. You know, among them is Keep being you, keep being different. Your work will speak for itself, your worth will speak for itself. Those who are for you are more than those against you. Don't burn your bridges after you cross them. Respect everybody. Be professional about what it is you're doing and respect everybody. You're not going to be friends with everybody. Not everybody's going to like you. So even when people go low, you have to stay high so that the majority of people can say, no, nah, what they're saying about John Brown is not true because they know your character, they know you as a person of integrity, and they know who you really are versus what people say you are. It has been challenging at times. There have been blunders or errors that have been made. There have been days where... If you like, this should be the last day, please. There are days when you're longing for all of this to be done. There are days, or there were days when, you know, I got so confused twice. Uh, I remember one day driving into the office, and when I drove in, I saw my car. So a friend and I carpooled because she's from Spanish Town, and that's where I was coming from. And I left my car in the parking lot. And when I drove in, she was beside me. And when we reached the gate and I saw my car, I said, Hmm. Brian Reach, man. <laughs> I Brian said, Reach. Brian Reach. Yes, sir. 
because I saw Brian's car. Okay, tears. But I am Brian. I was so tired, and I think it's about two days or one day ago, one day ago, before I was recording this video, I was driving. My wife came to town, and she was she was heading from the venue, and I was driving behind her. And I was driving, 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 and we came to a point where I looked up and I saw the car and I was like, wait, that looked like Basso. I was following her, and for some reason or the other, because of how tired I am, I said to myself in the car, wait, would that look like Basso? And it took me a couple of seconds to process, like, this is actually Basso and you're following her home. And, you know being away from the family for an extended period of time, not being able to spend all the time that I would have been with them. You know, it reminded me of the time we were living together but apart, yeah? Um, so lessons I learned from that, which I'll share at a later time, I was able to use now. And it helped, you know, communication. Um, I mean, it's a shorter stint, but there were valuable lessons that were learned then that helped me now. And we're done. It was amazing working with an amazing team, a team that was all about the finish line. So yes, there were hurdles. Yes, there was a steeplechase. Yes, there was some, some water. There were rains that came. And, you know, there were times we hit down the bars or the barriers. But we always got up back because of the eyes on the finish line. And because of that, I'm grateful to have been a part of such an experience that we brought to your homes. Everybody who's been messaging and seeing me and commenting on what we've been doing, kudos, big ups, thank you. It's not been easy. We made mistakes, we're humans. We face critiques, we face critics, we face criticism. And some can be harsher than is necessary and some can be harsher than is warranted. But at the end of the day, people will be people. And I love them just the same. I respect them, I value them, and I take their opinions. And I do what is needed with them. With all being said, it's time for me to go sleep and actually dream. I haven't dreamt for the past three or so weeks. I haven't even slept for more than probably four hours for the past three weeks. So it's time to get some sleep. Signing out from Tokyo Dreams. Stuff from the cuffs, stuff from the cuffs. If you had it back.